I'm sitting here looking back at some of these articles that we've done over the years. And one of the ones that I really stuck out to me was a good friend of all of ours, one of my favorite people in the world, uh, Maria Sorrentino. She did a, an article back earlier this year in 2023 on building a strong culture. So Maria, for most of you guys know, is the head of Pest Pros out of Michigan. And so she gave four really cool points about building culture. And frankly, if any of you guys know Maria or know her team, their culture goes through and through, just runs through and through their business. And they do a really, really great job. And so the first thing she said is that be open-minded and allow people to make mistakes. Be open-minded and allow people to make mistakes. Um, and you know, this is a really interesting one because especially as we're growing companies, now Maria has an established business, but especially as we're growing companies, it's too often as leaders, is when somebody makes a mistake, it's like the world ended, right? The world's ending. But sometimes mistakes are good because they identify some key opportunities that you can improve your company. And so a lot of times, like, and I think she called it out here, is that we don't need to react to a mistake. We just need to encourage uh, why that mistake has impacted the business and encourage the people to think a little stronger. And I think that's great. Encourage education was her second point. As any, all of you guys know, we see Maria and Tony out everywhere. I would say they probably go to more educational things than anybody in the country. I think they live that. So to build a company culture, she really stresses education, encouraging ongoing education. And uh, Maria and I have had these discussions over the years. And I think one of the cool things that Maria said to me one time was that they really look at not trying to learn everything, but to try to take a small little piece away from everything. And I think that's really, really smart. And obviously that's part of the way she builds culture. The third thing she talked about was show appreciation. You know, Maria is, as uh, much as I laugh about it, Maria actually has a swag shop as part of her company. So when you would go up to Maria's office, they actually had a store that was just full of Pest Pro swag. And uh, I think there's no better way to show appreciation than to deck your people out in company gear and to see, and she calls it out here, but to see what's most important to them and be sure that that's number one, it's great. And then finally is instill leadership and decision-making skills. One of the core concepts of being able to grow an organization is to ensure that the people who you are building up understand that they can be leaders and how they're gonna make decisions that impact the organization. Maria calls this out better than anyone. So I would say that if you're gonna go back and read an article about culture or start to think about your company culture and how to expand, this article from March of 23 that Maria did on building company culture is incredible. Maria is always super open. I would highly encourage you guys to go reach out to her. She's an amazing, amazing person. Her team's amazing Her and, and I love her. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go back and read the article. I hope you guys love the article. It's great stuff. See you guys enjoy.